In this video, we're going to talk about Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. Now, as the legend goes, Isaac Newton saw an apple fall from a tree. And it's thought that he began thinking, does that same force that caused the apple to fall towards or be attracted to the Earth cause the moon to be attracted to the Earth and stay in orbit? So this was what he was thinking was, and he investigated this, and he found two things. First of all, he found that the force of gravity was proportional to the distance between the two objects. And more specifically, he said that the force of gravity is proportional to the inverse square of the distance between the object. This is what R represents, the distance between the centers of the two objects. If you're not familiar with this symbol, that means proportional to. In other words, um, they will change at the same rate. They're not equal to each other, they change at the same rate. The other thing that he found is that the force of gravity is also proportional to the size of the objects, and, or in other words, their mass. So we have the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object. Now these two things go together to form this equation right here. So we have our masses on top over the uh, distance squared, and we had to add this thing in here it's called the universal gravitational constant. Now, Newton didn't discover this number right here, but this is what that constant is equal to. So G, this capital G, you just substitute in this number with these units. Newton didn't discover this. This was discovered much later in the late 1700s by a scientist named Henry Cavendish. Now, we won't get into his experiment, but basically he was able to determine pretty accurately the force of gravity between two objects of known mass and knew the distance between them, and he was able to solve for uh, this value, and he determined it to be this right here. So we need that to solve any question involving gravitation between two objects. So here's an example of a question that's going to involve solving for the gravitational force. Uh, we'll read this one, and then we'll solve this one together. It says, determine the force of gravitational attraction between a 74 kilogram boy sitting 1.45 meters away from a 67.5 kilogram girl. Basically all we have to do here is just plug in the numbers into the equation. So here's the equation we're going to use. And now we can simply plug in all the values. So there's the value for G and then we can plug in the two different masses. And then finally, the distance between the two masses. And now we can plug everything into our calculator. And we get a force of gravitational attraction of 1.58 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. So since it's a force, it's going to be a newton. And if you don't believe me, you can see where these units come into play for our gravitational constant here. We have two kilograms here, which is going to cancel those two kilograms there. We have a meter that's squared right here, which is going to cancel that meter per square, and we're left with units of noon. So that's why the units look the way they do with that uh, constant there. And so there's our final answer, and that is the law of universal gravitation.